Hello, hello. We are back for another showdown live today. You can see the team we are rocking with. One of my favorite mods uh, managed to actually squeeze back into the game with this new Isle of Armor DLC, and that is Porygon Z. Here we got a pretty uh, standard scarf set with that adaptability hyper beam that's going to be doing absolute shitloads of damage. And then the rest of the teams just to try and balance it out. Of course, we got the Bandit Urshifu as a wall breaker because that thing's absolutely disgusting as we have already proven. And then we have just a Zero Aura a bulk up set. Try and round the team off and then uh, Tangrowth Talk Specs and Skarmory has more defensive pivots. But uh, yeah, it looks like this team is gonna be extremely threatening. I'm not sure how it would do against Stall, but it seems to be a, a pretty solid team all around. So we're gonna see what we can do with it in this uh, this matchup today. Because in the first game, we get a guy with a pretty annoying ass team. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm worried about the shuckle. That's what I'm real, real concerned about. Toxpex, though, we do have a Spadef Toxpex, and that's going to be great for countering Volcarona. Uh, at least Volcarona that don't carry Psychic. Uh, but I'm going to go into Skarmory here, and I'm just going to go for a Toxic on Shuckle. I think that's a safe play. On. Let me let me look up Grassy Seed also. I want to see how my Skarmory is going to do in this matchup against the Halucha. Okay, so it's going to be a uh, defense raise on the Halucha. So I'm not going to be able to be doing out that much damage with the uh, Brave Bird. But that's okay. His team honestly doesn't look to be that good. I'm just gonna toxic this thing. And uh, if he wants to lock me into defog, then so be it. If he goes into Cinderace, that gives me a. Uh, I, I unfortunately, I kind of have to. Oh, I have to go talk specs here. And he's gonna go for the. Uh, hmm. All right, he's gonna go for the Zen here. He's gonna go for the Zen headbutt. How much does that do? Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I just have to sack something to this. I honestly don't see Zero Aura doing a ton in this matchup, so I'm just gonna sack Zero Aura. Because it's not going to be faster than Halucha once it gets its seed up. As he missed, actually. That's really good for me. So I'm just going to get a Plasma Fist off. Now I'm going to go for my own bulk up. And now I'm going to go for a Plasma Fist here. Might be able to catch him getting... Uh, getting greedy he's he's probably gonna okay that's fine even if i die there that's okay poor guns he can come in and just throw off a free try attack if he wants to go out into decidueye that's okay i don't mind with this adaptability the uh the stab boost is going to be two times and that's going to really work to our benefit especially if i decide to click hyper beam um but he's probably going to go into shuckle or something which I'm totally fine with. So I just go for the tri attack, clean up the kill there. As he does now confirm that I am scarfed, so he's probably going to go into his Dissidui. This goes into Volcarona. I don't think that's a good switch in. He does go for a Quiver Dance, but that gives me a switch into Tox Specs where I can haze him. Because this thing is going to be faster than me. Yeah, and it. it is probably going to be able to one hit KO me. So I'm just going to go for a haze. Because he is carrying the psychic, he reveals. Uh, I am just going to go for a toxic here. And now out into Skarmory on the top, uh, on the psychic, sorry. 
So he goes for a flamethrower there. Um, how much should Psychic do? I'm going to have to sack another Pokemon, unfortunately. Looks like Tangrowth is not very good for the rest of this battle, unfortunately. It, losing Skarmory was pretty big. I probably should have sacked like Ish or Shifu or something like that. But, you know, it's whatever. I don't want to lose Tangrowth. I think that's uh, the only thing that's going to be able to defeat Halucha. I mean, it probably won't even be able to, to defeat it, actually. Now that I think about it, that's probably the... Yeah, okay. So I'm going to go out into uh, Porygon Z. Actually, Urshifu is probably a better switch. So he's going to go out into Shuckle here. I'm going to go for the Wicked Blow. He goes for webs, but there's no outspeeding anything for me. This is gonna kill. But I actually I don't I don't want this. Yeah. Cause he goes for the Oh fuck. Okay, yeah, it looks like, unfortunately, I'm going to be losing this first match here. Oh, is he... That might have been a choke. Because I'm going to go in and go for the haze. And now I'm going to go for a toxic. Because hopefully he just decides to attack me here. the crit on scald did he did he get taken out here he did i think i win now depending on what he has on his decidui no way oh my gosh we get the win i am so surprised amazing clutch up by porygon z in the end there and that is an excellent game to start us off with also, yeah, that crit from Toxapex actually mattered because that just barely put the uh, the Halucha into uh, Poison KO range. But it looks like this guy's got an entirely threatening team. Um, yeah, it's going to be tough to win this one, I'm not going to lie. He's kind of got a, a stall core, and then he's got Alakazam, Cinderace, and uh, Urshifu, which is ultimately really tough to break. I'm expecting the... Uh, Probably the pot on lead. I'm gonna lead with Skarmory. Cause he leads with Alakazam. Honestly, I, I just want to break a sash on this guy. Cause I'm pretty sure Porygon's gonna be able to do like 50%. Wow, okay. As I get a crit and he's gone from the game. Zero Aura is a good switch in here. Yeah, well, it's, it's not really a good switch in. It's my only choice of a switch in though. That does 57%. Or right, he goes into this, so that's pretty much telling me that he's Scarf. Okay, he does take Rocky Helmet damage though, which is good. And now I'm predicting that he's gonna go for the, okay. Well, even if he, yep. Even if he went for the Power Ball, you saw that it was not doing that much damage. Now Talk Specs can come in here. And now I'm just gonna throw off a Scald. Zen's going to be doing a lot of damage, but he doesn't know that I'm Spadef. And now he knows. And now I'm going to... Unfortunately, I have to switch out into... Uh... I could try and make an Urshifu play, but if he goes for the Pyro Ball, it might put me in a bad spot. Although I don't think it's going to Oka, so I think that's a safe play. Yep. Okay. And now I'm going to go for a Wicked Blow here. I think that's fairly obvious. Oh, do I have a regenerator in my Tangrowth? That would suck if I didn't. Okay, this is gonna do like 50%, yep. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead, man. 
Yeah, I've made that same mistake myself. I mean, Hippowdon's actually not even a switch in to this Urshifu. As he brings in his own Urshifu, finally makes a correct play. But I do get 25% and sand chip on him. Now, uh, he's probably going to predict the uh, Tang growth. But I'm going to switch into it anyways. As he goes for the Wicked Blow, takes the uh, Rocky Helmet damage. I'm not sure if Skarmory's going to be able to live two of these. It might be able to with leftovers. Actually, actually, I'm fairly sure it will. He has more defense. Oh. Oh, my leftovers were knocked off. But it, I, I guess I'm in range anyways. I don't need this for anything left on his team, though. So I'm just going to sack uh, the Skarmory. And he's locked into Wicked Blow. As now I'm going to go into my own Urshifu and go for my own Wicked Blow. That sounds, that's such a dumb sounding move. I'm not going to go for a CC or anything crazy. I think Toxpex, it probably won't get to it KO'd, but it'll do like 45% when I go for mine. Fortunately though, it looks like I seem to have disconnected from this game. Which is mighty, mighty unfortunate. Hold on. Let me reload this shit. Yeah, I just have severe internet issues, but that's fine. I'm gonna go for that. How much did the Wicked Blow do before, actually? 25%, right on the money. Alright, let's hope I get the roll here. As you sacks pout on, that's good for me. I do take a little bit of extra chip there, but that's fine. And I also am keeping the Zero Aura for a... Uh... Okay, I do die to a Pyro Ball there, but now I can go out into Porygon Z and throw off a Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is absolutely free here. Oh, wow, as that Corviknight is spadef as all hell. Oh, but I do get a critical hit, which is great for me. I figured I was either going to paralyze him or get a critical hit. Um, He is faster than me here, so I'm going to see what he decides to go for. He's probably going to go for a, a Wicked Blow. If he does, I think my Urshifu is, will be able to take two because he's not banded. He is scarfed. I think we already confirmed that. So the best play is to switch into talk specs here. It, it'll take a lot from a wicked blow. I don't think it'll take it out though. All right, it's still saying that I need to pick my move even though I already did. God damn, dude. What the hell? This is some scuffed internet right here. Look at this exhilarating gameplay of a blank screen. Zero users in battle. Empty room. No name. If I lose because of this, I'm going to be super, super butt hurt. Okay, everything's loading. There we go. How much? Alright, what did he go for? What did he lock himself into? Wicked Blow, and it did 49%. Alright, so now I can go into my own Urshifu. That's going to do jack shit, and then I can just go for. A wicked blow myself. As uh, Toxpex is unfortunately going to be two hit KO'd. I am now in a great spot this game. Okay, so he goes into Cinderace. So I think the the play here is to sack uh, Zero Aura, because basically he can't lock himself into anything that beats both Urshifu and Toxpex. So now I go into Porygon Z. Go for the try attack, take him out, he goes into Urshifu, and then I win the game. So that's going to be a GG well played out from Testo Testo 3 2 1. Porygon Z is actually a really good cleanup sweeper. I mean, it's able to do uh, like at least like 50 to 60 percent to almost everything, if not more. He might not even. Well, actually, he is scarfed. I don't know why I'm saying this. Yeah, we, we did uh, confirm it earlier because I'm pretty sure 
he was faster than Zeraora with a U-turn. Could have been mistaken. But he locks himself into close combat so he can go into Toxapex and just uh, finish out the game here. I'm going to go for a cover just in case. As he does forfeit and we do get the victory. Awesome, awesome. Alright. My boy PZ is coming in hot. All right, unfortunately, this guy's got a Magirna, which seems to be a pretty solid counter to this team. He's also got a Dragology, which I haven't seen anyone use yet. I'm wondering if that thing's any good or not. As, uh, there's really no safe lead this game. Everything kind of has a counter on his team. But I'm going to lead with my own Zero Aura, I guess. It might be like a 50-50 lead. He might lead with his own. Yep, I can't even click the goddamn time. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. Alright. So he's gonna go with Corviknight. I'm gonna go for the uh, bulk up here. Goes into Dragalgy. Um, I don't want to take a hit from this thing, personally. I'm gonna go into uh, Talk Specs. As he goes for a Draco, that does so much damage that is like mega specs as hell jeez man i'm fully spadef tox specs so that's amazing all right so he is wicked below we already know that scarfed does 49 percent. so if this is banded it's gonna kill me so i, I kind of have to go into tank growth here he might predict that and go for a poison jab but even so poison jab is going to do like 50 percent Okay, and then I'm just gonna go for a knockoff here, get a free knockoff on something. Because clearly he's not gonna wanna stay in with this. So he goes into Volcarona. Um, I get rid of that thing's heavy duty boots, and now I'm going to go into uh, Talk Specs and go for a Haze. Hopefully he doesn't carry the Psychic. Because I, I know some, yeah, like in one of the games earlier, the guy was carrying the Psychic. And that kind of complicates things. This guy is carrying Psychic. And unfortunately, I kind of have to sack my talk specs. Or actually, you know what's a better play? Because going into Skarmory here is actually the best play. Because now I go for the Brave Bird here. He's going to knock me down to my sturdy. And I'm just going to be able to get rid of this thing. Toxpex, I felt, was more necessary for the rest of this battle, considering it was Spideff, and it's the only thing that can uh, counter Dragalgy. Alright, awesome. Now I'm just going to go into... Um, probably Pex. He doesn't have anything to pressure me. And I can get my uh, Regenerator Recovery back up to full health. How much did that Psychic do? It did 65 at plus 1, so I'm not going to be getting to it KO'd. If I'm at full health with uh, with the psychic there, as I do disconnect for the third time in like two battles. Okay, that's uh, mildly annoying. Not gonna lie. So he goes into Zero Aura. This is uh, just a free switch into my Tang Growth. He has nothing to threaten in me, even though he does knock off the Rocky Helmet. That's fine. I'm going to go th for another knockoff here. This tang growth isn't really meant to, uh, yeah, even though I get the burden, like, it, it isn't meant to, uh, like, do a lot of damage. It's meant to sponge hits and be a nice pivot on my team. As If I go into talk specs here and he goes for the psychic, that's still fine. You go for the quiver dance, I go for the haze all day. As he unfortunately gets a critical hit, which absolutely blows my plan out of the water. <sighs> that's, that's astoundingly unfortunate. I'm gonna go into Porygon here. I think it shouldn't take that much from a uh, Fiery Dance. Okay, that took a lot, but I'm gonna go for a T-Bolt. Just hoping that I, uh, he might switch into Corviknight. He's no chance of switching into Zeraora. 
probably going to go into Magirna, most likely. And so the tri attack isn't going to be doing a lot to Magirna. Nothing's really going to be doing a lot to Magirna, to be fair, but this is in case he decides to bring Corviknight in. As it doesn't even kill! What? I'm fucking disappointed. Alright. As I'm going to bring this in and try and bluff the Scarf. I'm just going to go for the U-turn. Uh, and then go out into my Zera Aura. And now I'm going to go for a bulk up. He's going to go into Dracology. I have nothing that wants to take a Draco. Skarmory. Just barely hangs on. He's going to go into his Quarter Knight. No, nope, he's just spamming those. That's fine. But... Actually, I still have a small chance to win this game because Drugalji is the only thing that's actually pressuring my Zera Aura. And uh, it's been taking a fat amount of damage. Or I wouldn't say a fat amount of damage, it's been using a fat amount of its Draco Meteors. It only has three left. I mean, this game realistically is probably over. My main uh, threat is dead. I mean, it, in all reality, it should have been a lot safer to go for a... Uh, I'm just gonna yeah yeah this one's done i i had to make plays to win and i just i got unlucky especially with that psychic crit and then he made the play of staying in which i didn't expect and the thunderbolt didn't kill he had to have been running some hp investment but um yeah in the next match this guy looks like a very beatable team but nonetheless still pretty annoying i'm expecting the uh What's it called? It's not Esper. Freaking, uh, whatever, whatever. I'm expecting them to lead with that thing. Indeed, I don't know why the game escaped, or the name escaped me for a second there. So I'm just gonna go into Urshifu. Just go for that. Mm. He's gonna go for a Scald here. He's gonna totally fish, which is understandable because I would do the same thing. I'm just gonna go out in my own talk specs. As he goes for a cover. He goes out into Chansey, and uh, I'm going to go out into Zera Aura here. Yeah, I figured he was going to try and catch my Air Shifu with the Thunder Wave, as I can throw off a knockoff here for free. This real boom get, it gets its Choice Band knockoff, knocked off, which is great for me. Now I can go out into Tangrowth. I'm not threatened by anything he does, and I can go for a knockoff on him. To try and catch maybe the Halucha, maybe the Corviknight, Chansey, basically anything on his team would be good for me. Because I do get the Corviknight, it's probably Rocky Helmet. No, it's leftovers, but that's good. That's how I'm going to go out into um, Tox Specs. This game's going to be pretty stally until it isn't. It's essentially going to be, from my understanding, back and forth for a while until one of us just gets like six kills and the game's going to end. As I'm just gonna go for a toxic on you. I don't want him to seismic toss me. I'm just gonna go out into um, Skarmory. He has a mystical fire, doesn't he? So I'm gonna go out into tox specs here. He goes up for the expanding force. Which is honestly a pretty dumb play. Why would you go for that on... Uh, he's probably specs, though, considering that damage. Maybe he's not, though. That I was surprised he made that play, because Skarmory's got decent spadef, so that honestly wasn't doing too much. This goes into Corviknight. That's going to be easily 2 it KO'd. But he is going to get rid of uh, four Wicked Blows. If he does, let me take this guy out. Coronite was a, bitty, a pretty big threat to my team, so getting rid of it, if he does uh, decide to do that, would be great for me. This is going to get to a KO as well. Yeah. Goes out into Halucha. He's, he's kind of choking a little bit here. Um, I'm going to go out into Skarmory here. All 
All right, so he decides to save his quarter knight, which isn't a bad play at all, but his halucha is severely weakened. And I have multiple things that pressure this quarter knight, where he only has a... Uh, He only has one thing that wants to pressure my uh, my Skarmory. I wouldn't even say he has anything to pressure my Skarmory. Actually, I'm just that's just on the assumption that indeed he has Mystical Fire. I'm just gonna go into uh, or Shifu here might be a bad play. I'm gonna go into uh, Skarmory here first. This goes for a try attack, yeah. And then I'm just gonna go out into um, Zara Aura on the Toxapex. Interesting. Um, that Wicked Blow, he has 538 attack. And it was not super effective, but it was a crit. I'm just gonna bulk up here. I'm gonna bulk up in your face. I'm just gonna go for a plasma. This guy's running dual terrain. I have no idea what the uh, talk. Ooh, that one shot. Damn. I have no idea what his uh, halucha is. Is he scarf? This is gonna kill you. As he does reveal to be scarf, which is pretty annoying. But that does mean that I can go into Urshifu here and just throw off a close combat now is good. I want to save those wicked blows because I know Corviknight's going to try and come in and stall him out. But um, yeah, I, I want to save him for late game. You only get eight of them, and Corviknight's pressure shit is so annoying. Because they do take out Halucha. Awesome. There we go. I, I I honestly need Urshifu alive. That's the only thing that is threatening his chancy. I probably would be able to outstall it with my uh, uh, Tox, Pex, and Skarmory, but it would just be a long, drawn-out battle, and nobody wants to see that. He is Scarf, so I'm scared for what he wants to do here. Um... I, Tangrowth is kind of worn its need, but I, I would like it for Rillaboom. I don't necessarily need it to win. I just want to see what he's going to go for here. He's probably going to go for the... Uh, I mean, Skarmory resists two of its attacks. I'm going to go into Tangrowth, though. I, th I think it's sacking it. It's, I see he goes for the trick. Okay, so he's not faster anymore. Uh, so I can just go for a knockoff. Or actually, I can go into Porygon Z. Let me run a calc real quick. Um, I want to see how much this try, try attack will do. Alright, come on. Load for me, baby. Um, let's do uh, Porygon Z. Um... Oh, you use conversion. Let's just say, yeah, yeah, whatever. Same, same set. Is it adaptability? Adaptability, and then let's say, uh, indeed. Is this male or female? I think it's male. It's, or, no, it's offensive. But whatever. Yep. Okay. Uh, how much is? Um. Try attack. Going to be doing. Try attack is going to be doing 72 to 85 percent. Hmm. I'm going for the hyper beam. Fuck it. I haven't clicked it yet. I'm going for the hyper beam. It goes out into Chansey. Because I miss. Wow. <laughs> the only chance I had to click it and it didn't even do anything. Oh, I could have switched out there. I'm stupid. I thought it locks me in if I miss it. Okay. So that was kind of dumb on my part. But that's okay. My Urshifu still can win this game. 
It still does win this game. As I go into Porygon Z here. Okay. He goes for the U-turn. Um, he's going to get up his rocks again. If I get Urshifu paralyzed, I lose the game. So I really don't want to risk that. So I'm going to have to go into Skarmory here and just go for a Toxic. Let Corviknight realistically has U-Turn, Roost. Hmm. Okay, well, I have him pressured. It does matter. I have him pressured. I, by the way this guy is playing, I don't think he's going to double Thunder Wave. So I'm going to go into... Okay. As he goes into Corviknight... I'm actually going to U-turn out myself. And go out into talk specs. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for the roost. Yeah, he's trying to stall out uh, my moves. This is coming to, uh, down to the wire. Basically, I need to get... Um, Okay, is this a turn to sack Porygon Z? I think it is. Hold on. Okay, let, let's see the series of events. So, he brings in Indeedee, right? Let me do a damage calculator also with Urshifu. Is this in here? It's not in there, Urshifu. Okay, well... He brings in Ndidi, which I'm pretty sure is going to die to the choice banded close combat, right? So I sack Porygon, then I bring out Urshifu, he sacks Ndidi, brings out Corviknight, then what do I go into? Probably Toxpex, which honestly Toxpex walls the rest of his team. Same with Skarmory. I, oh, I think regardless, this is the only series of plays that I can do. Yeah, he goes for the expanding force. I go into Urshifu, and I go for the close combat. That's the only play to make. Goes into Corviknight, and now I go for another close combat. He's not going to sack his Corviknight because that's his only win condition. If he sacks Corviknight, then I just one-shot the rest of his team. And I... Oh, Wow. Okay, that was a misplay on his part. I guess he was playing for the roll, but now I just win the game. Because he's going to go for the grassy glide or whatever. But I can just wait for terrain. He's going to go into Ndidi. I kind of need Skarmory, right? It, well, it, it forever walls the rest of his team, except for Ndidi. So I sack Toxapex. Well, actually, at this point, I can go for Wicked Blows because... Okay, no, so... Okay, here's a series of plays. I, I sack Toxapex here. It goes out into Chansey. Not a bad play. Also, nothing special about it. I'm just going to keep on switching. I believe I, I win this at this point. He has to kill me with the expanding force. Yep. All right. And now I go into Urshifu and go for the wicked blow. I saw four of them left. Oh, shit. And I definitely win this because it's going to two a KO Chansey. Might even Oko Chansey. And that's going to take a, a good amount. There we go. I go for it again. Awesome. 
And I don't even think I need to, uh, well, yeah, I'll just go for this. He goes for the grassy glide. As we finally get the victory, that was a long ass game. We are 35 minutes into the recording. Wow, there's only got like three battles in there. But uh, yeah, we've actually proved that uh, Porygon Z is pretty good. Once again, though, Urshifu uh, becomes the absolute king of the team. This thing might eventually get banned to Ubers, if I'm being honest. The uh, well, specifically the uh, single strike one. I I think it's uh, I don't know. I think it's really good. I think it's similar to Marshadow in that it's kind of fast and and just has a a very powerful single hit that you can't really switch into, but. Yeah, it, it, it's going to be complicated. We'll see how the metagame develops and all that stuff. But anyways, I, I'm rambling at this point. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.